In this demonstration, you'll see me uh, simplifying the image, making it more colorful, and um, drawing with just a few colors to create an impression of metal and wood. For this image, the textured paper will help incorporate the effect of wood. Kenson pastel paper has two sides. Please pick the smoothest side because even the smoothest side has a lot of texture in it and it might be very frustrating to fill it in and to try to overcome the texture. So working on textured surfaces can be a challenge and it's definitely more time consuming. That's why you can try drawing just uh, part of the image. The, the first thing uh, that I do is that I sketch out the outlines on a separate piece of paper, which is just a plain sketch paper, and then I transfer the image onto my colored paper. I use this uh, light yellow uh, surface to incorporate the natural texture and hue of the wood. If you use a transfer paper, use white transfer paper, so the outline uh, is white. But if you um, use the window light to transfer the image, use um, an HB graphite pencil and um, then just tap on the outlines to make them as light as possible. In this demonstration, I recreate the feel of the wood not by drawing out every crack like I, I've done in my previous demonstration, but uh, by shading over the paper's texture to achieve the uneven surface uh, you'll see in the next steps. Uh, I map out the darkest areas with paints gray and dark indigo. I also add a touch of cobalt blue to see how this color work on uh, this paper. Uh, I'm basically testing out the colors and making uh, the darkest notes from the start. Uh, because I always work from dark to light and uh, I begin drawing uh, from the shadows or, or the darkest areas first. Uh, this step establishes a form and a value range because I know that um, this is my darkest dark and everything that I draw on top of that is going to be lighter than the darkest areas um, that I have established here. After setting up the darkest darks, I map out the highlights with ivory and white. Always remember that white is a cool hue and if your image has a lot of sunlight in it, you've got to add a warm color to your white. That's why I'm using ivory first because it's a warm white. For the copper handle, I mix cadmium orange and dark chrome yellow to draw out the darkest concave shapes in the handle. And I also use a mix of ivory and white to place strong highlights on it. Um, I use pure white on top of ivory, not in reverse. When I shade with light colors, I usually apply heavy pressure to get the brightest whites. If you don't push your pencils uh, far enough, um, your lights are not going to be as bright as they should be. I also add the same yellows uh, to the wood and metal for color unity. On to the metal plug, I start by drawing out the shadows with earth green. Low chroma green meaning that it's grayed down to have less green in it and so it looks like a colorful gray. And just see how I uh, work on the edges. The outer edges look much sharper and outlined 
in comparison to much softer shapes on the metal itself. When I'm developing my drawing, I always look at the correctness of each shape. So whenever I layer color, I fix the overall shape of the object. For instance, if this needs to be round, I make sure that I outline and shade right next to that outline. So I preserve the roundness of the shape. Also, it's not just about the color, but more about the value. I continuously check how light or dark I want to shade a particular area, which determines the amount of layering. With everything uh, you draw, you should be thinking about tones more uh, than about color. Where I see the lightest light, I press on it um, the heaviest and I draw many times to make the strongest lights. And if I see that the light gets less strong over here, I'm just um, shading across the form to blend the pencil, but I'm not pressing on it as hard anymore because I know that this space shouldn't be as white as this space. And this is true for any kind of uh, drawing. You need to understand uh, where you see the strongest lights, uh, put them in, and then basically shade comparing to that strongest light. If 
if I see that the shape looks too white, I would uh, go back and just color over it um, just a little bit so it's not bright white. And uh, when I'm done, I spray my drawing one more time using the final fixative. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a great day. Bye bye.